pick it up right there, something underneath. Third and four. Here comes the pressure. They pick it up to the outside, cutting back and getting it is Brown. First down, Aggies, Yul Keith Brown. Eighteen yard reception. And that was really nice. It kind of built into a bit of a bunch formation. And then they get Brown out into the flat. Former LSU starting quarterback transfers to AM, his second start with the Aggies. Second and ten, gets it out quickly and gets it complete to his tight end, Green. As Green tries to power his way closer to the line to gain. Second half. Pressure off the edge. A chain picks it up. And with that, able to get the completion to Green and Green breaks free. Donovan Green. As AM on this opening drive of the second half down to the 22 yard line already. A good job by a chain coming across the formation and picking up Slushers coming off the left hand side. Was unblocked, but Slusher gets picked up by the running back, which allows Max Johnson to step up calmly and find Green crossing the formation. On a little wide route here and see if he can't throw it to him. Third down and 12, pressure. Johnson gets rid of it. And able to get it to Green. Donovan Green saves the day for the Aggies. First down, Texas A&M. 16 yards. Wow. I mean, what a great catch. Does he secure it? Looks like he does. Sixth fastest time in the 200 in A&M history. Johnson, downfield. Incomplete. Looking for Marshall. As there is. Give him the ball in space. Let him hand it off between the tackles. God probably did a great running back. Today. <laughs> Johnson. Incomplete. And Muhammad was wide open. Muhammad had a weight on it. And there wasn't a man in coverage within five yards. Man. The throw really isn't that bad. But watch Muhammad. He kind of stops. He kind of misplays it. Doesn't really know. Kind of comes up. And then next thing you know, the throw's on him. Hudson Clark is way off the mark in coverage. But you can see Max Johnson saying, just keep running, keep running. This one's on the receiver. It's actually a well-thrown football. Third down and six. Can they find a first down? Incomplete. He was trying to get it to Anaya Smith. Four-man rush against Johnson. Going to go downfield. Well covered. And is there going to be a flag? Yes. As Smith got run into by Miles Slusher. Diamonds on her maroon and white blanket. <laughs> second and 30. Underneath this is Smith. And here he goes. On second and 30, they convert with Anaya Smith. Stand being conservative defensively, but I can promise you this I'm not gonna allow Anaya Smith to have 15 yards of wide open green grass in every direction If I can help it with third and seven Pressure right up the middle against Johnson gets it free, but it's incomplete Give yourself a chance Johnson pulls it and it's incomplete. Again, he was trying to get it to Stewart, the true freshman. Or will they back off or bring it on Max Johnson? Empty look, no running back to help. Johnson's got to get it out quick, walks it to the end zone, and it's a touchdown. Evan Stewart, the freshman. Boy, did they need that. Delivered. Gig him. Johnson, complete pass midfield to Stewart again. We had the 10-yard touchdown earlier. Flag is down back at the 37-yard line. Jimbo says, what's that about? This is foul. They walk all the way. Offense number seven. This is a lot of players on the line. Okay. An Arkansas defender, you can see right here, yeah, I think it's actually an offsides call, so I'm going to start at the 30. Johnson hit as he throws, and it's incomplete, but a flag is down at the 40-yard line. Holding 
Defense number three. Down throughout the course of the first half. Of course, they've lost Jaden Catalan, the All-American safety, earlier this year. Second and five. Johnson running out of options and going up high inside the 10-yard line was Evan Stewart. So that is a first down for AM. It'll be first and goal. And this is really late getting to it as Johnson throws a heater and Stewart goes up, makes a catch. Heat. Johnson to the end zone. Incomplete. He's looking for the 